Next week marks 12 years since a Nashville father was shot and killed. And the person who took his life is still on the run. His grieving mother is determined to make sure he's never forgotten. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains how you can help her get the justice she needs. We just miss him. Just miss him. As the anniversary of her son's death approaches, Gloria Cox renews her call for help catching his killer. They're not going to get away with it because I'm going to stay on the TV screen. I'm going to keep pleading until I get what I need. Waiting and wondering who shot 20-year-old Jeffrey Short has taken a toll on his whole family. He was a sweet kid. It wasn't nothing you could ask him for. He'd give it to you. Take the shirt off your back and give it to you. On January 29, 2012, around 11 at night, Metro Police say Jeffrey, who was known as Nino, was at an apartment complex on Buena Vista Pike when someone approached his car, shot him multiple times, and took off. He was found lying just outside a car near the driver's side of his car. Now that 12 years have passed, Metro Police hope any witnesses that were here at the apartment complex will feel more comfortable talking to them about what happened. And that will ultimately lead to answers. I believe that there are people out there that likely have direct knowledge about this murder. I would wish that they would come and help me out so I can have me a peace of mind. Gloria says now Jeffrey's two sons have been forced to grow up without their father by their side, and nothing has been the same since he was killed. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts when birthdays and holidays come around. No Jeffrey. While time hasn't healed the heartbreak, she still hopes closure can come. I was always taught that everybody deserves justice. And that's what I need. I need justice. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. If you have any information that can help detectives solve this case, call Crime Stoppers or Metro Police. Both numbers are on your screen, and as always, you can remain anonymous.